Hello, 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 and welcome to Tender Loving Care for Your Womb. I am Athena Sai. I am a womb wisdom keeper and an oracle for the Divine Mother. And I am here today to share some practices, very simple practices that you can use every day to deepen your connection to your sacred womb. And so those of you who may be new and maybe unsure of where the womb is located, just a couple inches below the navel, you can even think from the belly button all the way down is that whole area is going to be the womb space. And so we're really talking about how we can nurture that space energetically, emotionally, and physically even. So this is all about practices to tend with loving care to that space we know as the womb. Now, of course, men also have the energetic womb space, which we call the hara, and they can also connect to the wombs of their own mothers. And so this isn't just for women. This is for all bodies, all genders, and these practices can be used for everyone. So we're going to start with what I like to call the sacred womb massage oil. So essential oils have been a big part of my journey over the last um, probably like six or seven years, um, I really dove into them and really started to understand the properties of them and, and how they were speaking to me, like with my intuition, my body just knew what I needed. And, and oftentimes I would stand in front of one of my many oil racks. Like I have one behind us, me, I have one in almost every room. <laughs> Um, I would stand in front of my oils and just ask, like, what do I need today? And then I would just intuitively grab whatever was calling to me. And then later throughout the day, I would go and look up, you know, what are the emotional benefits? What are the spiritual benefits? What are the physical uh, benefits? And it always fit, right? And so that's what I love about our bodies is they're literally our friends. They're here to guide us and show us um, what it is that we need. Maybe our mind can't always perceive it, but when we can slow down and really listen to our intuition and our actual bodies, the messaging is there. So this first one is the sacred womb massage oil. So this is going to be something that you apply topically to the skin. So of course the skin is the largest organ of the body. And when we apply therapeutic oils to the skin, usually within two to five minutes, it is already found within the blood system of the bloodstream. So it's really effective to get in there and, and start doing the work, right? So um, again, we want to really work with high, pure quality essential oils. We don't want anything that's synthetic or has maybe been diluted. Um, and a lot of times uh, the essential oils that are going to be diluted, they're going to say, you know, don't, it, it might be lemon oil and it might say like, don't apply to the skin or don't, don't ingest or, you know, and these are just kind of some red flags to just be curious about, you know, what brands are you using? Usually if you go to, you know, like a big, a big store or something like that, and you're seeing something, you know, a set of oils for like 1099 or something like that, it's probably not going to be the best. It's probably going to be synthetic. So just being um, aware of where you are getting your essential oils and, um, you know, what is, what are they really made of? So again, the skin is the largest organ of the body, right? Absorbs within two to five minutes after contact. Um, and, and when we apply essential oils, it really helps us to nourish and replenish the skin. It, it supports our nerve endings. It balances our hormones. Essential oils can soothe, you know, tired and achy muscles after exercise. Um, it really can promote, you know, feelings of peace and euphoria and, and, really instill gratitude within our hearts as we as we use these and bring them into our sacred practice. Um, as well as essential oils can act as a protective and a grounding, almost like 
force field from negative energies. You know, I use some oils that I put on my oil or I put on my shoulders to just, you know, sweep away negative energies, or I like to use root energies or root um, oils that like cedar wood, right. That are really grounded, or I like to use spruce, right. Because of that sacred tree that is both grounded and also going up towards the heavens with the limbs and that protection that it, it creates, right. The shade that the tree offers acts as a protective barrier for us. So there are so so many incredible benefits when it comes to using essential oils. And today, you know, we're talking about the womb space and how, you know, the womb really is an energetic place where we can hold imprints from, you know, our life and past partners and, you know, any kind of wounding or trauma that we've experienced, as well as, I mean, they now have the scientific proof to back it up that epigenetics, right? Our, our genes, our genetics are passed on from, you know, to our mother and, and her mother. And so we also carry the lineage, right? Of the genetics within us. And so sometimes that can also carry imprints or wounding or patterns or trauma that we can start to discover to cleanse and purify and which empowers us to live a more fulfilling and joyful life. So the oils that I chose for this have specific meanings behind each one and, and why I chose it for this work to really purify and empower the room. So of course, the first one that we have is rose essential oil. And I mean, just smelling it is amazing. Like if you think about, about walking through you know, a garden of roses and just smelling that sweet aroma, it is so powerful. And of course, when we inhale essential oils, it's found within the bloodstream, right? Within like 30 seconds. So this is one of the fastest ways to get the benefits of the oil in the body is to go ahead and smell it. You can smell it right out of the bottle or you can also diffuse it. And I just love rose oil. The, and I'll go in deeper with all of these. The other oil that I was called to bring in is sacred sandalwood, which is so ancient and so magnificent for bringing in our spiritual self and our devotion to our practice. So you can also smell that. Mm. And then the last one I brought in is copaiba. And so this is another tree. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so these are super simple ways that you can use it. So you're going to need those three oils. Okay. So the recipe is one drop rose oil, two drops of sandalwood, and three drops of copaiba. So one, two, three. I kept it simple. Of course, you know, this is going to be maybe for two applications, but if you wanted to make this um, a little bit more, you of course can adjust the oils to your needs. And then today I am going to be using a dropper bottle. So it is a little dropper and I like the amber because it helps the sun. So the sun rays don't affect the essential oils. Um, you can also use like, I think I have, you can also use like a roller bottle, which I love. This one has actually, um, a crystal tip, which is amazing. And I also have little crystals in here to help support. So I love making these little rollers. Mm, they're so good. So you could use either one. Since this is a massage oil, um, I'm going to go ahead and use the little dropper. Okay. So um, with this, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit more about what I wrote down for each of these oils. Of course, we know that Rose is literally the oil of divine love. It is the highest vibrational essential oil on the planet, right? I mean, they use thousands of petals to make this little five milliliter bottle of oil, thousands of petals, right? So this is also a heart healer. I mean, the rose is so alive in our consciousness again as we are remembering the path of love as we were remembering the divine feminine and all of the gifts that she brings to us so this supports us towards accessing those higher frequencies of love right it teaches us the power of grace in our healing journey 
And when we reach for that divine love, when we're in a state where we remember that we are connected to all of life and that our heart is directly connected to source, then our heart begins to soften a little bit. And as it softens, we are able to do deeper healing work right? We let go of what's no longer serving us. And we remind ourselves of our wholeness and our purity. And so Rose does that, right? It reminds us that we are whole as we are. The the petals, right? The stem, the thorns, the leaves, that is its wholeness, right? It is beautiful just as it is, as are we. And it reminds us of our soul, innocence, and purity, that space within us that is untouched, right? That is our our everlasting soul. And so when we connect to this, it brings in so many properties of, of love, compassion and healing and having that soft heart being, you know, tender to ourselves, accepting to ourselves, having empathy towards one another as well course as compassion and then again receiving opening up like the the flower as it opens and it's blooming right it's opening up to that sunlight and it's allowing that sunlight in just as we bloom we're allowing the love of the divine to enter in right and so I love rose oil for that so I'm just going to go ahead. Now these oils are um, rose can be a little bit of a thicker oil. Um, so it might take a little bit longer to come out. I like to kind of warm it up, like putting it in my hand. I'll roll, warm it up that way. Um, but then I just drop it in. Or I'm going to try one drop. And then we're going to do two drops. Again, sandalwood is going to be extremely um, thick. There we go. Two and a half, right? And then we're going to do three of the Kofi Eva. I can get that one to go. I might need to open the bottle. <laughs> so let's read a little bit more about sandalwood, right? So this is the oil of sacred devotion. Um, this oil assists with prayer. So this is one that you probably have like incense, right? Incense going of sandalwood. You know, you go into some of those uh, yoga studios or or places of devotion. You can smell the sandalwood going. So this is... Um, it assists with prayer and our meditation and our spiritual devotion. It has been used in ancient times. It's been named in the Bible several times, um, as well as for its, its powerful ability to calm the mind, right? To still the heart and prepare us for that communion to spirit. It invites us to release our worries right? Thinking of, of throwing those worries, right? Or giving them to the altar or however you see that, right? Throwing them to the wind, right? To spirit, knowing that what is ours will stay and what is not will go. And so we're surrendering those worries. And that's where we start to find more of that clarity, right? On our spiritual path. So it also assists with quieting the mind so we can actually hear and tune into our own internal guidance. So these properties are spiritual devotion and clarity, stillness, surrender, and of course, the connection to the divine. And then the last oil here, again, is Copaiba. It's the oil of unveiling. So this oil invites us to connect to our past, which when we're doing work with the womb, it is directly connected to our past, to our family lineages, to our past relationships, to the way that we have treated our own bodies. And so this invites us to connect to our past. It helps us to unveil the deeper meaning and the messages that may be actually showing up in our lives. So Copaiba actually helps us become aware of our shadow, right? And discovering who we really are. It helps us discover the golden nuggets is what I like to call them. Anytime we're going into the shadows, like if we're really there and present, we can start to unveil the golden nuggets, right? The lessons that can be taken from um, that pain or that shadow. And it helps us to turn into the truth, right? Within the shadow. 
and it works to reveal any kind of unresolved pain in the heart, the mind, and or the body. So it supports our release of shame, guilt, and unworthiness. And this sacred oil helps us to forgive and to move forward, right? So properties here are going to be that, that feeling of worthiness and being more self-aware and clarity and forgiveness of self and others um, helps you to really identify who you truly are and what is your purpose, right? What is your purpose of existence? What is your soul journey? And so these oils combined together are such a powerful way to connect to the womb, to clear out what's no longer needed, to look at the pain and the trauma. And can you find the lessons and even maybe the blessings of what you've experienced and endured in this lifetime? And as we do that, we open up to these higher frequencies of divine love. We we, we bloom as the rose does, and we remember our wholeness and our purity. So what you would do next after you put, again, it's one drop rose, two drops of sandalwood, and three of copaiba, you would get a carrier oil, like um, you could use any kind of like fractionated coconut oil, um, avocado oil, almond oil are all really great. And then you're just gonna fill up the bottle. And of course, um, you'd probably do I mean, you can fill this all the way up, but you might want to double or even triple the recipe depending on your experience with oils and your sensitivity to oils. Always, um, you know, consult a doctor before ever using any kind of um, supplements or oils. Um, but if you are someone who's been using oils regularly, you can probably up the, the recipe. But I wanted to keep it short and simple. And then, of course, you would go ahead and we want to stir it very lightly. We don't want to shake it up. We want to stir it and just allow it to swirl, right? And just set those intentions as you're doing this, the intentions to, to really send love and tenderness and care to the womb space, to nurture the body, the heart, the mind, and the soul. Just setting those intentions, maybe bringing it to the heart and really setting those intentions of love, peace, harmony, balance. Maybe you'd even like to blow the breath of life over it to activate that as well. You can sing to it. You could put it in a little singing bowl if you wanted to, to clear out the energy, whatever you feel, but really set your intentions into this. And then when, what you would do is after you set those intentions is just take a small dropper, put three or four drops in your hand, in your left hand, uh, your non-dominant hand, I'll say, put it in your non-dominant hand, which is the receiving side. And then you're going to swirl it three times in a clockwise direction, which is the same direction that your DNA flows. And then you're going to bring it to the nose and just cup it to the face, taking some nice deep breaths in and out. And then you'll place it over the belly and just start to massage in a clockwise direction, moving the way that the intest intestines move and just moving that clockwise direction to really um, activate and open up that womb. You're connecting to her, right? You're connecting to the power of the divine mother through your womb. You're connecting to the power of your own mother through the womb. You're connecting through your lineage through the womb. And so as you're massaging in, just connecting, right? And asking, you know, what messages are here for me today? What do I need to focus on today? How can you help me through this situation today? And this is an amazing practice to use like in the morning, um, maybe after a shower, or even like right before bed. This is also something that you could use with a partner to deepen your connection in your romantic life. So this is something that definitely can be used in so many ways. And so again, just setting that intention and, and devoting some space and time to connecting and breathing into that place. And so that's our first simple practice. The next practice that we are going to use is actually herbal tea. I love using tea. I actually have 
this today I have my tea right now brewing as we're as we're talking today I'm using mugwort and lavender and I absolutely love this combination because both of these open up your oracular abilities and they open up your seeing abilities so this is an amazing blend that I really enjoy um, drinking when anytime I'm doing these kinds of talks or you know I'm having a, a big group ceremony or I'm doing leading a group meditation or maybe even if I just want to meditate myself and start to open up to you know that wisdom the wisdom of the light that i hold within and so you can absolutely use lavender and mugwort i i really do recommend that like in almost every course that i teach because it's it's one of my favorite gentle ways to open up to um plants right to open up to our plant allies as well as open up our own sensual and sensory experience so that's one blend. The other one is going to be something that's going to be great for, um, you know, this is going to be more for women. This is more of the menstruation support. And, you know, maybe when you're feeling kind of sluggish or you're feeling like crampy and you're just not feeling your best. I love this woman's blend. Um, of course, men can drink this too, like no big deal. And I love to recycle jars. So this is a jelly jar. <laughs> And so I have, um, this is my red raspberry leaf, and then this is nettle. So I will say that nettle has very bitter taste. Oof. Even the smell, it's, oof. it's very uh, pugnant. pugnant, but it works wonders, okay? So the nettle tea really supports, it, it helps to keep our blood sugar and our blood levels our blood, sorry, our blood pressure levels in check. It is anti-inflammatory. It helps to also alleviate pain. So if you are experiencing cramping, um, sometimes I will get lower back cramps during my time. And so I feel like this helps to just kind of alleviate some of that pain for me. It also supports our body during stressful periods of time. Um, it can soothe allergies and even skin irritations. Um, it also, of course, protects the kidney, the urinary, and prostate health. And this is something that I have suggested, you know, to other people who have been kind of going through some kidney um, or urinary tract things, maybe trying this and seeing how it, how it makes them feel. Of course, again, always talk to your doctor before consuming any kind of, um, you know, medicines or plants. Um, and as well, this also nettle tea also will strengthen the bones, which is really amazing. As we age, we know that our bone starts to kind of um, become more brittle. And so this can actually strengthen our bones. And of course, then last but not least, it also boosts the immune system. And so I feel like this is just a great addition to, you know, putting in with red raspberry leaf. And um, red raspberry leaf is a very mild, I don't think it has a super strong smell. Mm, I just love it though. Oh, there's so many different things that I've done with this. Um, I like putting it in with um, wolf berries or ninja berries. Mm, a little bit of honey and just the red raspberry leaf tea. It's just so divine. Like just smelling it is amazing. <laughs> so um, some of the benefits of red raspberry leaf are it's a source of um, antioxidants. It also helps with digestive support. It alleviates any kind of inflammation. So again, this is going to be great if you're feeling swollen or achy around joints and things. It can help to alleviate inflammation. Um, also helps with menstrual cramping and water retention. Um, it may support late stage of pregnancy, um, also can support morning sickness. And actually I used this when I was breastfeeding um, both my kids. I breastfed both my kids and I used it for um, breast milk production. So it helped me to produce more. Um, also it can be great for morning sickness and then it can assist during childbirth. So cleanses the blood and detoxifies the body. So these herbs are powerhouses. And I'm sure most of you guys that are watching this are already using herbs in some form or way or shape or form, um, but they're just amazing, amazing tools. And I will say that, you know, as I tune into to the natural world around us, you know, there's so many more messages that are coming forward that the plant allies are really here to support us. And it, it feels like they're getting louder and louder because they're like, hey, 
the world is out of balance right now. And we have been doing this for hundreds of years and we can literally help you come back into balance. And so using herbs and connecting to their, their essence, connecting to them as plant ally, you know, and even if you don't have the actual herb, maybe looking at a picture or just going outside in nature and just calling on the essence of that plant, you will be amazed that the more that you do that, the more that they come. And, and they hear you and they want to work with you. And so it's not just a tea, right? It is an essence that we can consume, right? And we can radiate into our body and out of our body. And it really does make a big difference in our life. And so this would be a great blend to use. Um, maybe you want to, you know, make this blend and then massage the womb space with the oils, right? So um, that's our second tip, right? Using herbs as a way to connect spiritually, but also the amazing healing benefits that they have for our body as well. So the third practice is actually going to be a breathing and a visualization practice. And so um, this would be a great spot to, if you need to pause the video and get situated, go ahead and find a comfortable position, maybe sitting in a chair, your feet on the floor, your spine upright, and just closing your eyes if that feels good for you today and, and taking some nice deep breaths in and out. And just allowing yourself to tune in to the sounds of your own breath. How does the breath sound? How does it feel? Is there a temperature difference on the inhale versus the exhale? Just start to bring yourself into this present moment through the awareness of your breath. Next, I want you to inhale from the tips of your toes all the way to the top of the head. And then I'd like you to exhale out the arms. So go down the arms, out the hands, back into the earth. Again, you're going to inhale from the toes all the way up to the top of the head. And then you're going to exhale out the hands and back into the earth. Inhale all the way to the top of the head. Exhale, down the arms, out the hands, and back into the earth. Just repeat that a couple more times, really grounding and centering your body, cleansing that central pillar of light, that central channel with your breath, coming into this now moment. Go ahead and do that one more time, inhaling all the way up. And this time as you exhale, I want you to send it back down that central channel, back down to the womb space below the navel. And you can place your hands in a downward facing triangle, thumbs touching and fingers touching at the bottom here, placing that over that womb space. And just start to connect your breath and your hand to the womb. And as your hand is on the womb, I want you to think about breathing from the right side, creating an infinity or a sideways figure eight, and then going through the center and coming to the other side. So you're gonna inhale as you're making a figure eight, that infinity, inhale to one side of the womb, exhale to the other side of the womb, and continue to run this infinity symbol with your breath. Maybe you can even go from one ovary to the other. And again, you can do this just energetically, even if you don't have the organs here, you can still breathe this energetically, 
going from the right side to the left side. And now bringing in the visualization of the golden ray, golden ray of love, power, and wisdom. And just allowing that golden energy to move on your breath from one side to the other, clearing what is no longer in alignment with your best and highest good. Releasing what is no longer yours to carry. Checking in and seeing if there's any messages here for you today. Maybe it's something that you're not quite sure of. Maybe your full awareness hasn't been brought to an area in your life. So take this time now to connect to the womb. Asking her, what do you need to release? What do you need to bring attention to? How can you best support yourself today? Continue breathing through that golden light, through the infinity, balancing the masculine and feminine, balancing the right and the left, Balancing the light and the dark. And when you feel complete, you'll thank your womb. Then you're gonna send that golden energy to your root chakra and then all the way to the crown chakra. So imagine now that you're turning that infinity to a figure eight and you're now moving it from the root. Center is gonna go through the heart and then up to the crown back down through the heart and to the lower chakra. And now sending that golden energy through, aligning the upper and the lower chakra system, opening up the access portal points for the earth as well as the divine. anchoring it in the heart portal. And you may even start to see the golden energy. It might start to change. Maybe it's rainbow or maybe it's green or pink. Just allow whatever color you need today to flow through that circuit. And this would be a great time again to ask for any additional guidance, any other wisdom. Maybe it's just that connection to divine love, really feeling it in your body, feeling it in every cell, allowing yourself to radiate love. Go ahead and run that energy a few more times from root through the heart to the crown and back down. And now thanking your heart, thanking the, the womb, thanking the root and thanking your crown.
And when you're ready, you'll just open your eyes and with gratitude and love, move on through your day. So you can use any of these practices individually, or you can combine them all and make your own little ceremony, your own little ritual. Without me talking about each oil, it really doesn't take that much. Maybe if you have everything already made, you could spend five to 10 minutes, you know, really connecting and, and with our busy lives, you know, kids and family and work and, and things going on, right? Um, you know, even that 10 minutes to slow down and connect to your body and connect to the wisdom of your womb, you'll be amazed at the, the gifts that start to show up in your life, the synchronicities, right? The harmonious relationships that start to form. It really does work. You just have to put in your dedication and your devotion and really tenderly loving yourself. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful day.